an Indian friend of mine now residing in Canada he's become the citizen of the Canada who heard my last two videos on love and lovers revenge he sends me an extract from Somerset Magum the great in uh, uh, English author and I hold him very high esteem when it comes to prose I would have uh, liked to reproduce the extract uh, entire uh, text but uh, refrain from doing so before I am accused by my audiences of cheating them and filling my talk with his quotations so I will just share the gist of what Somerset Magum has to say and simply add my uh, comments to it but before I do that let me make it clear that we are not uh, talking of love in the broadest sense to include love of God love of love for king love for country parents children nature music literature etc etc but we are talking about specifically for of love between adult men and women in this uh, limited context Magam believes love means two things sexual love and loving kindness let me tell you my friends this is not the this is not an original thought Plato differed uh, ec very very uh, ex uh, uh, in detailed manner between all kinds of love this basically which involved sex and heavenly love which it did not Morgan prefers to call it loving kindness rather than platonic love love passes love dies the great tragedy of life is not that uh, uh, men perish but they cease to love not the least of the evils of life and not for which there is small help is that someone whom you love no longer loves you writes Magam I go along with him all the way I would set one qualifying explanation when an erstwhile sweetheart ceases to love you what causes pain is not so much the betrayal but the bruised ego after a time the hurt goes and you are really ready to fall in love you fall in love again with uh, someone else Maga makes the sex urge the bedrock on which the edifice of love is raised I go along again with him in this as well he writes however much people may resent the fact and however angry uh, angrily they deny it their so sorority can no can be no doubt that love depends on certain uh, secretions of the sexual glands in the immense majority these do not continue indefinitely to be excited by the same object and with advancing years they atrophy people are very hypocritical in this matter and will not uh, face the truth they so deceive themselves that they can accept it with complacency when they love dwindle into what they described as solid and enduring affection 
as if affection had nothing to do with love my friend affection is created by habit community of uh, the of interests conveniences and the desire for companionship it is a comfort rather than an exuberation i feel love is transitive verb said the grammarian it shifts its focus from one person to another tolstoy wrote that to say that you can love one person all your life is just like saying that one candle will continue burning as long as you live hence the tragedies in marriages made it uh, made till death do them apart Alan K in a works wrote love has been in perpetual strife with monogamy monogamy makes it clearer we are creature of change we are not the same person this year as last nor are those who we love it it's a happy chance if we uh, uh, changing continue to love a changed person mostly different uh, ourselves we make a desperate pathetic effort to love in a different person the person we once loved it's only when the power of love when it seizes us seems to uh, seem so might that we persuade ourselves that we still uh, we will last forever when it subsides we are ashamed and blame ourselves for our weaknesses whereas we should accept our uh, our change of heart as a natural effect of our humanity mogam dismisses loving kindness as a kind of uh, dancing he says one dances for pleasure of the rhythmic movement and it is not necessary that one should go to bed with one's dancing partner not necessary love as mogam understand it and i uh, concur agree with him is what balzac describes as poetry of the senses beautiful platonic love is love from the neck up cerebral and devoid of passion love is earthly and heart downwards to the crimes the poet don captures it its essence in just these four lines whoever loves if he does not pro- uh, propose the right true end of love his the one that goes to see for nothing but to make him sick where there is no sex there is no real love so much so i say nigahon se nigahon ko mila kar hum bhi dekhenge budhape mein muqaddar aazma kar hum bhi dekhenge jawani laut aati hai tere nazdeek aakar to ghadi bhar ko tere nazdeek aakar hum bhi dekhenge thank you very much